What is up guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, and welcome back to another Nintendo News Update video. Now, it's December 1st on the date of recording. Nintendo basically promised us at this point that we're gonna be getting Zelda Breath of the Wild DLC Pack 2, um, which is gonna be the big DLC chunk of that $20 DLC pack, which is basically adding new stories and supposedly, I believe, rumored, quote unquote, a new temple in the game or whatever the case may be. Um, I'm getting my news from perfectlynintendo.com. I'm gonna have a link in the description below to the article. But basically, Nintendo announced today that they're gonna be hosting a Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild a live stream, which is gonna be happening in Japan on a TV, t uh, TV show called Nico Nico in December 12th. Now I'm getting, again, I'm getting my news from perfectlynintendo.com, but it's all over the internet. I'm gonna have a link to this article below because there's a couple of things I wanted to pull out from this article that they kind of go over and they, and they kind of do make it a huge, huge, huge point. Now they go over the dates and times and stuff like that. It's not, not too interesting, but to me, what was the interesting stuff about this article that they wanted to go over is why we may not see the DLC Pack 2 a part of this live stream. So one being that this live stream is taking place around the world, yeah, so you can view it. I believe it's going to be posted up later on YouTube after the fact, after it's gone live. Um, and to me, that is a clear indication that we might not see DLC stuff here because if they wanted to do it, they would have blown it out. Nintendo would have just held a Nintendo Direct if that was the case or, you know, had a trailer go live if that was the case. But I don't think that we're going to be seeing too, too, too much DLC, if any DLC stuff here in this live stream. So let's jump into the article. It says, um, given the timing of that live stream, it's tempted to think that the second DLC pack for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, The Champion's Ballad, will be revealed or showcased there. But it is highly unlikely for these two reasons. Now, um, again, reason why I pulled it up because they do make a great, great, great point. Um, one being that it's a live stream aimed exclusively at Japan audiences. Though, of course, there's nothing that prevents you from watching it. It's highly unlikely something anticipated as a second pack DLC, second DLC pack, excuse me, will be revealed, like showcased for the first time there. And again, that does make sense. Why reveal, you know, the biggest thing that's coming out in the month of December, excuse me, for me, sorry, any Xenoblade Chronicles 2 fans out there, but the biggest thing that's coming out for December at a live stream that's going to be only aiming at half of the audience, you know what I'm saying? It kind of makes sense that they don't do that and Again, let's go on to the next point. It says Nintendo doesn't mention or even teases such a reveal in their program page. And they definitely would if it was the DLC to be revealed there for the first time. Now we've seen in the past Nintendo do stuff on live on TV on TV um, exclusively with, you know, the Pokemon company and them, you know, showcasing uh, what was it the, the dust main not dust main the crow's mind the the dawn farm the the um lichen rock the brand new lichen rock that was showcased first on tv now yes it did tie into the anime and yes it did tie into the games but it was showcased there first so again you can say that they do have um in the past mentioned that they you know they were going to show something new entirely they would mention it so you know there's no mention of anything new so again fingers crossed I'm, I'm not doubting it i'm just it doesn't sound like it to me um a bonus reason it says the live stream is all about showing the appeal of the game to players who haven't played it yet and i think that's what they're doing even though Zelda Breath of the Wild has a crazy attachment rate with the Nintendo Switch, um, it is probably going to be Nintendo. I don't know. I think Mario probably is going to beat it out as far as one-to-one -one with the Switch, um, as far as attachment rate and stuff like that. But it, it, again, Mario isn't on you know, Wii U, so maybe that will make it bump up and outsell um, Mario Odyssey. We have to see later. It says, in fact, there's much more likely that the DLC pack will be revealed at the Game Awards next week, though Nintendo hasn't announced anything or hinted, or hinted at anything just yet. Now, again, they are doing this thing where, you know, they're bringing five fans out to the Game Awards. 
and a lot of people are speculating maybe they're going to reveal something there. Again, I wouldn't put it past them for doing that. They did do that big Zelda Breath of the Wild trailer there last year. Um, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We have to wait and see. The Game Awards is literally seven days away. So I, I'm hoping, and to me, if it was me, I would put it in the Game Awards, get it out early, and then get the DLC out as quickly as we can to wrap up 2017, if it, in fact, still coming out in 2017. Because at this point, you have one month left. Like, I wouldn't want them to rush it. If they need to push it back, no harm, no foul. We had an incredible year with Nintendo. So let me know in the comment section below, what do you think we're going to see from this, you know, live stream? Or do you think we're just going to see some gameplay of Zelda Breath of the Wild and they're going to try to sell it to consumers who haven't bought into it yet? Or do you think we're going to see DLC, you know, or do you think they're going to have that DLC be revealed at the Game Awards, which I'm kind of betting on. Um, again, last year we did get that huge trailer um, at the Game Awards, which revealed um, that there were going to be voice acting for the first time in the Zelda game. So again, I wouldn't be too surprised if we did get the DLC announcement at the Game Awards and then they go, oh, it's available, you know, the Game Awards is what, on Friday? So it's like, oh, the, you know, it's available that Monday or that next week, Friday or whatever the case may be. And then at this live stream, they are playing it or bring it up or whatever the case may be. But again, I do not think that we're going to be seeing the reveal for the, um, the, the the DLC pack here and if we do they're probably gonna again update us and say yo there, we're, there's something big happening at this live stream because right now they're kind of just brushing 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 they're right now they're just kind of brushing brushing right now they're just brushing brushing right now they are just brushing it under the rug so again i would think that they will make a bigger deal if we were going to see something significant from here so like always i could be wrong let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on it i'm daddy gamer friend on instagram and twitter and like always you can bring the conversation down the american gamer and twist one right here on youtube and yes i'm be doing a ton of these nintendo news update videos the best way to keep up with the videos with the discussion is with a subscription so please hit that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned ring the bell if you want to be notified the next time i drop a video peace i'm gonna see you guys next time